What's up guys, Aaron J. Daigle here, wondering if you have ever taken a leap of faith, trusting God to catch you when you fall, then find yourself wondering what to do when you hit the ground. I know God will never leave us, nor forsake us, nor abandon us, but just because we step into the water doesn't mean we won't start sinking. In fact, whenever we start pursuing the calling that God put on our lives, seeking him for what he created us to do and get involved in ministry, we end up running into many setbacks, obstacles, and detours along the way. We feel like God called us to do something, step out and try it, and it sometimes blows up in our face. But why is that? Why would God even allow us to go on detours on our path to destiny? Well, there are different reasons, and today I'd like to talk about three of them together. But before we get started, let's all take a quick detour down to the like button, smash it until it turns blue because it helps out with the YouTube algorithm, and your support means so much to me. So let's look at how the Bible tells the story. It says, when Pharaoh finally let the people go, God did not lead them along the main road that runs through Philistine territory, even though that was the shortest route to the promised land. God said, if the people are faced with a battle, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led them in a roundabout way through the wilderness toward the Red Sea. Thus, the Israelites left Egypt like an army ready for battle. So you see, God took them on a detour before bringing them into destiny. And he does the exact same thing with us today. Maybe you've been praying for something for a long time, or perhaps you were reading the Bible and a promise jumped out and grabbed your heart. You may feel like God clearly gave you an idea of what he's going to do through your life, but you feel delayed, as if it's never going to happen and you feel like giving up. I want to encourage you that God did not lead you this far to give up on you now. There are reasons why we sometimes wander around on our way towards what God promised us. And I'd like to talk about three of them together. The first reason is that God is stripping from you what can't go with you to where he's taking you. Sometimes, for example, we want the right thing but we want it for the wrong reasons. And if that selfish ambition bottled up inside of us reaches destiny with us, then it could destroy us when we get there. We could also be very prideful and think we're more important than other people, so much so that we're unkind to them. If that stays in us, then when we get to where God is taking us, it can later cause problems for us. Or maybe God doesn't have our entire heart. Perhaps it's God and God and our hobbies, God and our job. And of course, these things aren't bad, but they shouldn't consume us. And if we step into ministry with a 50-50 heart of God and, and then become successful, then we may feel like we don't need God to continue on and can exchange his part of our heart for something else that we would rather have in it. There are so many things in us that if allowed to stay in us could destroy us down the road. So instead of taking us directly into what he promised us, God takes us on detours to strip us of things that can't go there with us. The second reason why God leads us on detours on our way towards destiny is to put into us what we'll need once we get there. You see, the Bible says the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. But fruit is not a gift. Fruit is planted, tilled, and developed. Your destiny could be so big that it will require more self-control than what you have right now. You'll have to be able to treat people right when they treat you wrong. You'll need to be capable of regulating your emotions when an outburst could otherwise ruin everything that God is doing through you. Perhaps you're going to need more patience in order to manage all of the things God is going to put under your responsibility in that new season of your life. And leading that may require even more patience than what waiting for it is requiring of you now. It's also possible that God God is developing love in you because love is more than just a fuzzy, warm feeling. To actively love someone often requires more of us than we feel like we even have inside of us. So sometimes God takes us on detours in life so that we can grow into the person that we need to be in order to handle what God wants us to have. The third reason is not because God is preparing you for your destiny, but because God is preparing your destiny for you. In other words, it just can't handle you it ain't ready for you. It's like that Christian girl going to church, praying for God to send her the right man with one eye on Jesus, but one eye looking around to see who else is worshiping Jesus, but then going home feeling worthless, defeated, frustrated, wondering why can't I find the right person? Maybe you've done the work and you're ready for the right person that God has for you, but that person ain't ready for you. If God let him meet you right now, he'd be dumb enough to mess it up. And yes, I dropped that detour here so that when my wife watches this YouTube video, no, seriously guys, if the right thing, 
the right person, the right job is not ready for you, then the timing is off. And if you stepped into it right now, it could backfire on you. What God has promised you and what you've been believing him for may not be ready for you just yet, but when it is, God will walk you straight into it. So whether you're on a detour because God is taking something out of you, putting something into you, or preparing your destiny for you, then I want to encourage you that what you thought was the destruction of your ministry has actually been the construction of its foundation. So even though you feel delayed, that doesn't mean you've been denied. God's promises are true, and he will do exactly what he said he would do through you. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you in any way, be sure to tap that like button if you haven't already done so. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you never miss an upload. In the meantime, if you'd like more content, I'm going to link my books in the description below. You can check them out and grab the one that best fits whatever season of life you're in right now. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.